know, during the course of the past two years, I feel like several people have wanted to maybe take a different career path, maybe even want to go back to school. And so to talk about this and talk about some exciting new changes they've got coming up, we decided to invite our friends from National Lewis University back to the show. And that also includes Anthony Spano to tell us more. Anthony, how you doing today? Natalie, I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, I'm excited to talk with you because you really do have a lot of exciting things going on. First and foremost, though, a Community Hero Scholarship. What's all this about, Anthony? Well, Natalie, it, it's, it's a new scholarship that we have at National Lewis University, and it's our way of giving back to all those who, who mean so much to us, especially during this past couple of years of the pandemic. We're talking about our first responders, our federal, state, and local law enforcement firefighters, our U.S. licensed and certified patient care workers, all those people that have been putting it all on the front lines to keep us safe during this time. I love that. I think that says so much about your university that you want to recognize and give a scholarship. And, and as I was getting ready to actually talk with you, Anthony, I realized that you've got a pretty cool accreditation, nationally recognized as one of the country's top 25 most diverse universities. How have you been able to make that possible? And why is that just essential to what you believe in as a university? Yeah, it's core to our mission. Thanks, Natalie. You know, it's we, we believe that every learner, every possible learner should feel welcome, valued, respected, and be supported to reach their full potential here at National Louis, Louis University. You know, we're taking a look right now at some of your students. I didn't realize you've been a presence in Tampa for more than 35 years, and you're continuing to add classes and programs, right? We are, and 35 years here just in Tampa. Now, we're located just north of downtown, just minutes away from the airport, and if you just go across the bridge, there's Clearwater Beach, so it's just probably the best location you could ever have for a university. But we're part of the overall university that was founded in Illinois 135 years ago. But in the past 35 years, we've been in uh, an educational leadership front runner in the state of Florida. And now we're bringing on new programs in business, counseling, school psychology, clinical psychology, all those really in demand programs that are so important to folks here in Florida. I'm glad you touched on that. I was going to ask about being a leader in the educational leadership space, I think is such a huge thing. But I'm curious, you know, I touched on it there at the beginning when I was getting ready to introduce you, the pandemic. A lot of people decided to maybe change the way they were thinking or what they were doing with their life. Have you been able to see that from an academic standpoint? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we so many so many people's lives and, and their families' lives have been affected by this pandemic in such a way. And mental health has become really it's moved to the forefront of what everybody's thought process is of, of what am I going to do? How am I going to help out with this? You know, just 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 employment outlooks alone mental health positions and fields are going to grow at three times the rate of the average position. So it's, it really stands out and it shows too, you know, being able to have that flexibility in one's schedule, if they do decide to pursue something and a degree is required. And again, that flexibility is what you're able to provide. Yeah, that's, that's exactly right. What we do is we offer programs face to face, we offer them in a hybrid model, and we also offer them fully remote. So students have the option to really learn at the pace they want in the yeah. way they want. And that's that's kind of the way the world's operating these days. I love it. Well, you know what? You and I are really just touching the surface of everything that is happening. So we want to make sure, check out their Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, also nl.edu for more information. Anthony, it's great seeing you. Thanks for coming on today. Natalie, thank you so much. Make sure to check out the Community Hero Scholarship. And one last thing I wanted to mention. Yeah. The spouses and dependents of all those folks I talked about are yeah. all eligible for this program. So that's very exciting. Cool. Okay, that really is a good point. I'm glad you got that in. Thanks again, Anthony.